hello everybody. Um, nice to see you today. Um, I'm finishing up on the coffee filter Christmas tree. Um, I got the tree done and I'll show you that in a minute. But I wanted to do a base for it because you really want something hard. Oh, there we go. Hard, er, you know, stiff at least to, um, one, you want to be able to, you know, move it around if you need to. You don't want to be holding on to the tree and the ornaments and things like that. Damage the integrity of the strength of the glue doing it that way. So I went and I got like three quarters of a yard and it was way too much, okay, um, of this black plaid fabric. And I just cut out a piece of pretty stiff cardboard, not some real light stuff. Uh, and I cut it out to fit. So what I'm going to do, I cut it out in a square. And then you can see I cut the corners down. Let's see. There we go. Um, yeah, I tried. Yeah. So we're going to do it this way, actually. And I've got my glue gun heating up. All I'm going to do is just glue, you know, the fabric around the edges. I'm not even going to bother putting any, actually, it's not going to, oh, I need it to lay flat. So we're going to do it that way. That won't lay flat. So let me get some scissors and just trim that edge a little bit. The part that's sticking up. That way there's no ridge while it's while it's sitting there. <sighs> but then this is the final step. And then just attaching the tree to the baseboard, which is what I'm calling it. And, uh, so let me see. Yep, that's warm. Now to get a good um, even seat, I'm going to... When I glue it on there, I'm going to glue it uh, what I call cross corners. So I'm going to do one corner and then I'm going to do the opposite corner. And I'm not pulling it, you know, super, super tight, but I'm pulling it firm. I mean, you can always, you know, and I'm going to turn it. Oh, I had a pretty good mishap on working on the, the tree. Um, you can't tell now, but uh, it's been a couple days because when I was working on the, uh, the topper, and I was gluing one of the bulbs on um, my finger nail caught on a glue string and it pulled the bulb up and the glue was still hot and it landed on my finger. You can see a little bit of a red mark, um, but it's healed. Oh man, was I hopping up and down like a Mexican jumping bean. Let me tell you. Uh, and it burned so bad. Um, it pulled like a chunk of skin out and I mean it was it was icky and very painful <clears throat> so I had to uh, wait for that to heal up just a little bit um, let's see how I want to do this yep I think I'll do it just like that Pull this up. And any leftover, you know, I'll trim off. That's not a big deal. Now, all I did was a basic fold, but it did leave. Oh, my camera's acting silly. It did leave a little, um, like a pucker, which is okay if you're going to leave it or if you're going to cover the edge, which I plan to do. Um, but if you're not, I'll show you how to keep that pucker from showing up. Uh, 
Well, if I can. Just cutting a little bit of extra off. Well, maybe not, you know? I'm sure there's ways to do it, but I'm not gonna. I just feel like I've had enough fun with my glue gun lately. I don't feel like testing it. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't have any burn cream. So I just loaded it up with Neosporin and then wrapped it with gauze because I didn't want the gauze to stick to it because it was a raw, bloody mess. And uh, I kept Neosporin on it pretty good for two days. See now right here, see that flap? I'm going to go ahead and trim that off. So it doesn't, you know, make the thing wobble. But yeah, so me and my glue gun had a little bit of a, an issue. A piece like this, I could probably trim it a little bit more and use it as a scarf on a snowman I'm planning on doing with some foam balls. So, and it'll fray, so that's perfect. I've got two right there I can use. And I can also use these for part of the hat. And, you know, so everything you use pretty much or everything you trim is reusable. And then, you know, some people just don't even want to deal with it. And they just say, you know, okay, I'm done with this part. Just chunk it in the trash. No biggie. All right. So I'm going to do this side now, this part, cardboard wants to roll up, uh oh, I need a glue stick. Let's roll up just a little. I moved my camera. There we go. And again, I'm just going to cut this little flap. Get a little bit of glue. And pull the pieces over. Ow, 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 ow. Okay. Yes, I know. You'd think I'd learn. But I'm sorry, I think a lot of us crafters would be absolutely lost without our glue guns. I know I would be.
there we go. Now, I've got some tucks, but there's probably a way to do that a little bit better. I mean, probably, yeah. <sighs> but there we go. Isn't that pretty? All right, now. Yay! Okay. I was thinking about adding some ribbon around the base, but this doesn't quite match. All right, I'm going to set this aside for just a minute, and I'm going to show you the final, um, the final product, the tree itself that I finished. So I'm going to set this right here for now. Alrighty. Ugh. I hope that I've got my camera high enough that you can see that. See? There's the tree topper. And you can see I added some stuff. I'm going to pull this up a little like this. And uh, I'll take a final picture and, you know, straight on like this and be able to show you at the end of the video. But yeah, so you can see it's pretty much done. And I think it turned out fabulous. I hope she likes it. And then we're going to set this right centered. See, it's not showing, you can't see the base as much. Let me see. But it's enough. Where the little corners. Oh. Well, one of my bows. I didn't glue. I missed one. So let me see. Where does it go? I don't remember. This thing tilted on its side. So now I have to figure out. Well, it looks like it'll probably go right in here. So let's just tuck this in here. Nope, that's too close to another bow. We don't want that one there. Let's see. Huh. <laughs> it's one of those things where you think... Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I like it back where I had it. Okay, I'll just tuck it in down here. And there we go. Now, when you decorate them, you can get them as elaborate or as simple or, you know, any color combination you want. You know, I added some little uh, picks that I just kind of stuck in there and glued them. What else did I add since the last time? I added the little red bows. I did the, the topper, which I just put a bunch of bulbs at the top and then the little star after I um, made the uh, these little wooden snowflakes. I glued those to the white one because the white wasn't thick, you know, what didn't match. But um, make sure it's standing upright. Looks like it is. Now, all I'm going to do, okay, is I'm going to tilt this up on its end. And. I'm going to add some hot glue around the base, just the base. All right, and then I'm going to tilt it right back up again and set it right down and make sure it's pretty much centered and then just kind of wiggle it on. 
and honestly, I don't even think I really need any ornamentation around the edges. I think the tree itself should be the focal point. And this is just enough to give it, you know, that continuity as far as bringing the plaid from the top to the bottom. And, uh, yep, on that note, um, now that this is finished, I'm going to go ahead and get my camera, take a picture so I can add it to the end of the video so you can actually see what it looks like from, you know, actual easy to view, um, viewpoint, that's the word, I couldn't even think. Okay, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Give me a thumbs up if you like them, subscribe. If you want, share them, you know, all that fun, happy stuff. Uh, if I don't see you or have another video, which I probably will because I get bored when I don't do these. Um, uh, I want everybody to have a wonderful day and hope you had a great Thanksgiving and I will talk to you soon.